That's why. Um, firstly, what I would do is put this on to move all my fringe away. But have you seen the state of me when I do that? <sighs> so I'm not sure this is the right way to go for this video. Although I'm guessing I could hide this a little bit. Hi, I forgot to watch that filming. So basically, I am just prepping my eyelid. I'm just prepping my eyelids for any eyeshadow that is going on. So that's why I look like this. Don't ask me what this brush is. It's out of um, out of this pack of like rainbow brushes. Kay bought me. So basically, I'm just blending. I just put a little bit of um, foundation under. Obviously, concealer works as well, or even a white. Well, not necessarily white, but a brighter eyeshadow um, just underneath like your brow and then spread it all out you probably can't tell but I just put some like deep pink eyeshadow on just a little bit of colour to add a little bit of colour to my eyes I'm just going to start with a coat of mascara what mascara is this? It's Barry M and that's how I roll waterproof yeah, um, I only wear waterproof because of an incident once. I really like this one. Right, I do my, my mascara like really weird so don't judge me. I have really light lashes at the roots so if I don't do the mascara on top first It'll show if you get me. Um, the lightness, the um, my light, the light bit of my uh, eyelashes. There we go. The light bit of my eyelashes at the top will show. So you know, like some people just go straight underneath. If I did that, the mascara wouldn't catch on the top and every time like I blinked or I had my eyes shut, you'd just see like blonde on top, light brown, ginger, whatever you want to call it, on top and then black underneath. So I coat the tops first whilst I'm like doing coats and mascara. I'm just going to put some lip gloss on because it's a lip gloss kind of day today for some reason. I have no idea what this lip gloss is. I think it's Korean. Made in Taiwan. Oh, Japanese. I think I got it from my Japanese beauty box. If you don't know what I'm on about, I'll link below. Just quite subtle. It's like orange and glitter, but as I said, it's quite subtle. Do you think? I'm going back in with that eyeshadow. No, 
what am I talking about? That um, foundation under my eyes as I like double coat it. That's what we're calling it, coating it. Um, I double coat under my eyes because well, it's kind of a given, isn't it? If you don't understand why, personally, I have see-through skin which means you can see like pretty much every vein that lives under my eyes so first coat of foundation done under my eyes that's my dog Alan if you heard that um, and then I'm just going to do the rest of my face of course it's in my hair If you can hear that noise, it is not me. It is a pigeon that is above me, not in my house. <laughs> it's, um, my roof is right there. So, I pretty much just warm the foundation up a little bit by spreading it out a tiny little bit with my fingers first if you know what I mean I love this foundation have you seen how smooth it like um disperses shall we say And I find that it's really easy to build up. This is like the first like drugstore foundation I've been absolutely in love with. Drugstore foundation? I think like any foundation to be honest. Like it's so silky, it doesn't have like a horrible like weird or chemically smell. As I don't know because a bit of the foundation got my eyelid, but and that never happens. <laughs> so I said, oh no. Um, yeah, around my nose area is always bloody dry, by the way. So that's nothing new. Um, but yeah, back to the foundation. It goes on so smooth. It's really easy to spread out and a lot goes a long way so like for example how it's like a pipette I never have to squeeze it when I'm putting it on because you just get so much off the stick itself so yeah I never even squeeze it that's what I mean like little goes a long way which is amazing and um, because it's so teeny it means it fits in luggage really well you know like um carry on like your little um liquid bag I'm going to finish off my eyelashes and then I'm going to sort my hair out. I need to put a hat on today because it's um, chilly. If in doubt, put mascara on the bottom lashes as well. My uh, top lashes were just not cooperating, so yay, that thing's off my head. My head's really warm. Um. I am probably going to separate the hair off camera because a lot of people freak out when I'm doing it because I have really thick, dry, Jewish hair. So um, people hate the sound of me separating my hair. I'm 
used to it and it doesn't hurt but it's just how it is I shall not bore you with that <laughs> Like I said, I stuck on a hat because it's cold and windy. We have a storm, or at least the storm's just finished. So, we're at the back end of a storm, basically. Kira, is it? Storm Kira. Um, so, yeah, hats have been needed. And not just a hat that's not going to come off. So, a warm beanie it is. And this is my simple look. I think I did um, a simple winter look a few years ago and it was pretty much the same mascara and I think I I may have put lip balm on um, I don't think I put any colour on my eyeshadow but simple as um, basically foundation mascara yeah, you can't really go wrong with the just them two I do love a bit of colour on the eyes I do love a bit of colour on the lips um, put some blush on if you uh, feel a bit lifeless in the face. Um, and I forgot where I was going. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope um, you found some of this interesting. And you probably didn't. <laughs> but I enjoy filming this. Um, but if there's any requests, let me know. I am uh, quite happy to do requests Chloe made me do on once, which was baking a cake because obviously. <laughs> but I love to do more like ASMR cakes. Well, I'm sad. Right. <laughs> Bye.